Hey, welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. Today we will begin the female figure, starting with the skeleton. As I always like to say, no two people are the same. Also, a lot of things are not concrete, and they can be adjusted to your own preference. I base my knowledge on various things such as schools, books, as well as life. I want to define eight head proportions. This means the figure will be divided into eight separate equal parts. The first part being the length of the head, hence eight heads proportion. Average people are not eight heads. They range from seven to seven and a half. And eight heads is primarily used for action heroes, fashion model type of work. It's very important we learn eight heads because it is the easiest to remember. A lot of the division lines line up perfectly with the form. From there you can go on and learn about other types of proportions. For example, anime commonly uses six heads or seven heads. The proportions are tricky because the divisions do not line up easily. So if you can get the hang of drawing eight heads first, you can then learn how to draw the really fun and exaggerated types of proportion. And I don't claim to be a master. I just teach as I know it. Also, I want to say I get the same kind of response from most beginners. Wow, how can I get that good? There are two ways about it. Observe and practice. Practice and observe. You cannot do one without the other. These measurements can be found in books like Andrew Loomis, uh, Hogarth. The one I'll be using this is from the uh, Andrew Loomis book, The Figure for All It's Worth. But reading is different from watching. Watching gives you the extra push because it's application. You can read, but how will you know how to apply it if you don't have someone to show you? It's possible, but much harder. This is why I'm offering these videos. I want to assist those who are having difficulty starting or getting to their desired goal. And I will start from the very beginning, the skeleton. We're still in the beginning stages of this, but if you join me on this journey, who knows what I'll be covering next. Also with a high demand of requests, uh, have faith I will eventually get to them. I've got a list of videos I want to do, including clothing folds, face structures, hands, eyes, colors, and even basic Photoshop and Manga Studio tutorials. And for those who ask the same questions, I don't mind getting to them, but please you guys don't be rude to the new folks. We got to remember we were all a little lost at first. So don't bash on each other. Instead, direct them to their appropriate pages, or even better, answer the questions on my behalf. Remember, we are all learning together. So let's get started. Now I'm using Manga Studio 5, but the tools you use are irrelevant to learning the figure. I learned these very same lessons on paper, but I'm going to use digital because it's a lot faster. First thing I want to do is draw a line straight down, just as we did before with the male figure. I'm going to draw a box, the letter I. Draw two more lines. Try your best. You guys can use a ruler if you want. And they're not even like around here and here, but that's okay. All right, so divide that again and try to eyeball it. Get it the best you can. So divide it again. Divide it, divide it again. And again until you get eight equal parts. You can extend the lines if you want. Let's label these lines uh, starting with eight. So you guys want to pause and write these down You know, if I go too fast. So number seven is going to be the chin. One third down from number seven is going to be the shoulders. Number six is going to be the armpit area. Um, one six down from number uh, one six down from number six are the nipples. One third down from number six is the base of the breast. Number five is going to be the elbow and waist area. Okay, numbers uh, one one six down from number five is going to be the belly button. Number four is going to be the middle area, but one third down from that is going to be the crotch. Okay, number three is going to be the mid thighs. Number two is going to be bottom of the knees. Uh, one's going to be mid shin, and then one third up from the base is going to be the ankle. So if you're going digital, lower the opacity. By dragging the slider down, create a new layer on top, and we're going to begin drawing the uh, skull structure. So for the head, we're going to do a narrow oval like this. 
and it's a little bit see if you if you look at it it's more of a rectangle it's about one third of the box going this way and remember for the male we went square and female we're gonna go oval you can go square if you want if it's a lot it's a lot easier and you just carve out the oval later that would be fine as well all right we're gonna draw in the rib structure starting from the shoulder line like this here you can use a box but since we're going female let's go oval again like this come down about one third above number five stop right there again on the other side like this and then we're gonna cut it off right here like this and then also notice that these angles here are a little wide compared to males males would be kind of narrow because they don't have to uh, you don't have to carry the baby. You can erase this line out. All right, so the biggest difference between the male and the female bones is the pelvis. The pelvis um, for a female is more curved like this, and the male is more straight up and down. So I want to—I don't want to exaggerate it too much since we're trying to go real. Curve it like this. Leave some space right here, not too big. About one third down from that is going to be the, the the top of it. And remember, from the side, it'll be more of a circular structure. So they're disc shape, like this. From looking from the side, we can kind of see them. All right. So if you want to make them like kind of semi-disc-like, you can. Yeah, the guideline is a little bit wobbly. It kind of curves there. All right. So for the uh, spine, we're going to connect the spine like this. Give some width here down the middle gets a little narrow right here in the center and then connect and it's going to connect itself to the center of both uh, discs. Alright so the thigh bone comes out this way like this like this comes down at a slight S shape it can be straight if you want like this again these are just guides same with the other side, come out like this, like this. If you want, come straight down first. See? And draw the other side like this. Follow it. What works for me best is if I just think of it like as a straight line and I'll and I'll naturally pull kind of a slight curve. It'll come just naturally. So just think of a straight line. And round off the bottom. Oh yeah, and also make sure it lines up right here around number two. Number two. As you can see it kind of slants up this way, so trying to keep it straight. I'm going to come down straight like this with a slight curve going like this, you know, like this. But generally speaking, straight. And then for the feet, you're going to come down like this, touch the base of the boxes like this, and attach the feet going up this way, this way. And then just draw some lines from the base. And also, yeah, one third up from the base will be the ankles. Like that. See? Also, you guys can exaggerate the S shape a little bit for the thigh bone if you want. It comes in like this. Comes in like this. It comes back down this way. What I think though, this space right here is a bit too far apart. So think of it as a heart right here. A heart shape right here. So it comes out this way and then down this way. We erase out this side like this. Come straight out for her shoulders. Straight out for her shoulders. And they kind of line up right here with her uh, hips. Uh, I like to keep it kind of a little bit closer in. All right, so the elbow and the waist is actually going to be one fourth going up. Okay, so the elbow and waist ends right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out this way with the arm bone. All right, at a, at a straight line, kind of slightly curved, but stop right there at number, well, one fourth from number five. 
Okay, so it can be a little higher, a little bit lower. It's fine. Same with the other side. Come up from the edge here. Down. This here. And then round it off. So the forearm bone, it's going to come out like this. Like this. Stop at number four. The hand's going down like this. About one sixth up from number three. It will be kind of the fingertips. Straight for the back of the hand. A little bit for the uh, the thumb bone. And then you can curve it right here. For the rest of the fingers. Same with the other side. Gesture that shape. Backhand. Thumb bone. Thumb bone. Fingertips. Okay. See how they're a little bit different from each other? That's fine. And then you can attach these muscles here a little bit right here. But we won't get too much into the muscles. Just want to leave it at that. So draw this little V here in the center for the collarbone. And you can divide that in half. A big problem that I had that a big problem that I had that you guys might not have faced was that her legs seem a bit long and that's due to the guidelines that I've set for myself. You see it's really big here and if you look at this one it's not as, as long. See, So I'm just going to adjust that and hopefully you guys aren't having the same problem. I'm just going to adjust it up like this. Her neck seems a bit twiggy. We try to go for a more realistic it looks like it's going to be more like one half. I'm sorry, you guys. Keep screwing up. Sorry, I'm still learning too, you know? But I think we got it. I think we got it. So, And, you know, again, as I always say, it depends really on what you want. If you want her to have really long arms, then go ahead, you know, go down to one six. But um, just just looking at it, you know, you can kind of feel what looks right. So let's do a quick review. All right, just so that we have everything clear. So number seven is going to be the chin. One third down from number seven is the shoulder line. Number six is going to be the armpit area, but we don't see that yet until we draw in the forms. All right, remember about one six down from number six. About one six, it's going to be um, the nipples. It's going to be the base of the breast. That's about half. This is one third. Base of breast. About one third down from number five is going to be the uh, the, the top of her um, pelvis bone. Am I making this up as I go? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so we're learning together. Number four is the base of pelvis. And it can, at times, you know, go past that. One half down from number four will be the fingertips. Number three is going to be the middle of the thighs. And we're going to erase that one sixth up from the from the mid thigh. Number two is going to be base of the knees. Number one is going to be the middle of the shin, which should be right here, actually. All right. And one third up from the bottom is going to be one, uh, it's going to be the ankle. But yeah, this is pretty much how we draw the proportions for eight heads, a female figure, and skeleton, front view. Be sure to stay tuned uh, so that uh, you guys can see how the muscles are all put into place. Alright, so practice this about ten times, or as many times as it takes for you to remember. And I'm pretty sure after the fifth time, you'll probably get, it, get the hang of this, you know. So leave any comments and questions below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.